BJP has again retained power in the 2023 Tripura Assembly elections with 33 seats and the CPI, M and the Congress Party have been relegated to merely 14 seats. I am joined by former Chief Minister of Tripura, one of the longest serving Chief Minister of Tripura, in fact, Mr. Manik Sarkar. Uh, Manik Sarkarji, it's a huge embarrassment for CPIM uh, for a second time drubbing because last time they fought under your leadership, you got 16, you were the longest serving Chief Minister and one of the most honest politician in the country. So why did the CPIM lose again? What went wrong? Now, you see, in Tripura, for the last five years, fascistic attack has been let loose. And uh, democracy was attacked like anything. One party dictatorial rule was imposed. Opposition are not allowed to work freely, fearlessly uh, to exercise their democratic rights. And on the other hand, what I should say, even the constitution of India actually did not work. Election means a farce. During the last five years, right from treaty or Ponchai to parliament, large chunk of the electorate were not allowed to exercise their franchise on their own. Rigging, rigging, rigging. So this was the situation. And starting from their very first day of 2018, uh, when they have come to power, attack was there against the Communist Party of India Marxist, then left and gradually, after a long gap, other non-BJP opposition parties, including the Congress. So in this situation, you see that uh, about 25 of our comrades have been butchered. Thousands of comrades have been attacked physically and a section of them were not even allowed to go to hospital for getting treatment. Even there also, some of them were attacked. And the rule of law is actually converted to rule of jungle. My even, 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 in the police stations, our mothers and sisters uh, are facing all sorts of onslaught, barbaric onslaught. They are not even allowed, a good number of them are not even allowed to register complaint. This was the situation. So, you see, despite all these things, despite all these things, in this election, CPIM, together with its friends of left political parties, they tried their level best. So, I do not consider it as a distressing result. Yes, it should have been rather uh, better, but they started with the slogan that they will convert CPM to zero. My, my question so is, you say that it's not a serious uh, drubbing, but was allying with the Congress party was a mistake on part of the CPIM because you fought against the Congress party for quite long, yes, yes. quite long. Yes. So was it a mistake to ally with the Congress party? No, that question does not arise at all because both left and Congress, they have been forced to come to close to each other because of BJP's fascistic attack, attack on democracy. What I Prime Minister Modi said uh, in in his speech, uh, Kerala mein kusti or Tripura mein dosti. I have answered all these things after listening his speech. I have answered all these things. Kerala, there is democracy. No one party dictatorial role. Other political parties, opposition political parties, they were allowed to exercise their democratic rights functioning throughout Kerala. No political parties, officials are attacked and votes are not looted. All voters were allowed to exercise their franchise freely and fearlessly. But quite different, quite different than that of Kerala here you in Tripura. You say that it was the right decision to ally with the Congress party. At this moment, because we have not gone to 
detail because just now the elections result have been published. Uh, alone, mm -hmm. I cannot draw any conclusion. The Congress party failed to translate or transfer its votes all, to you. All, all on a certain, this cannot be, this cannot be said because just the results have been published. So, we shall have to go in deep of all these things. Before going in deep, drawing this sort of conclusion and passing comment, it will be uh, unjust and irresponsible act. Has, 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 Rahul, has Rahul Gandhi become a baggage for uh, uh, the alliance partners? I could not follow what you wanted to say. I mean, if you look at the trend in Northeast, sir, BJP has penetrated in a big way. Even in Nagaland, they've got seats. Okay. Even in Meghalaya, they've got I've seats. So, why unnecessarily uh, Rahul Gandhi should be blamed for all these things? No, this should not be proper. So my, 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 my next question is, uh, why did Manik Sarkar did not contest? <laughs> I know that you would ask me the same question. Whoever coming uh, to meet me, everybody is raising this instance. You see, Baba, since 1917, and I have been contesting. Understand? So, uh, first I worked as chief whip of the uh, ruling party. Then 20 years chief minister continuously. Mm -hmm. Then five years opposition leader. So, why, uh, what is wrong that this time uh, I have not contested? I thought that, yes, uh, the, our friends, our, our, our comrades, uh, young, growing, developing, through mass and class struggles, they should also be provide space so that they can groom. So keeping that in mind, actually I have decided and I have tried to convey all these things to all leaders. Our Politburo members, I am also a member of that Politburo. They have actually wanted to know why I am thinking uh, of uh, not contesting. I explained all these things. They have agreed to me. And also in our party state committee, party secretary, uh, time and again. It was being said that Manik Dai is angry with the alliance that took place between the left and the Congress party. That is why in anger he did not contest. This is the saying of uh, some leaders of BJP, uh, not the general people. That is not correct. If I am angry, then the, why I should take part in all this campaign right from the beginning to end, uh, keeping myself in front. What this is absolutely wrong. This is not correct. Do you mean that uh, you will keep your you will keep yourself from electoral politics now, or will you contest elections again, Lok Sabha that's or Vidhan Sabha in future? That, that's a different question. I I I am not thinking about all these things, and at this moment, I do not like to pass any comment in this regard. But you see, electoral battle is interlinked with our political uh, activities. So, one cannot be separated and alienated from each other. That must be kept in your... You will be in active politics? Sure. We are communists. We are, till the last breath, till the last breath, if I am in a workable condition, what else I should do? Right from my, school, my college days, I have started doing this. Uh, nobody forced me to come to join the communist movement. From my experience of my life, Gradually, gradually, I have come to close to the Communist Party and particularly the Communist Party of India Marxist. Understand my point. I am not working for my own interest. My last question is, are you disheartened that the Communist Party, which you built up in your long career, have lost the faith of the people of Tripura? Because it's the second time that the people have reposed their faith in the BJP. No, no, no. That question does not arise. I have already mentioned I have already mentioned, still we have been able to get more than 35 to 36 percent of votes. It is the preliminary thing. Understand my point. How does it happen? And this party has not uh, built only by my work. That will be highly wrong. My predecessors, particularly our comrades, like uh, legendary figure like Dashwara Dev Burma, Nipen Chakraborty, Biren Dotto, how can I ignore all this? All, all of them. Actually, they helped us to grow. They took us in the party. They actually provided space for us to work. So, this is the collective functioning. Communist party, yes, role of individual, 
in the history cannot be ignored but the communist party practiced to work in a very collective manner well manik sarkar is uh, not spilling the beans uh, for his reason not to contest he is saying that he is very much uh, on the forefront of the politics in tripura but as far as uh, not contesting ele elections is concerned he has clearly mentioned that he is not going to stay away from active politics electoral politics may happen may not happen that lies in the future in agartala with video journalist suraj prakash singh for republic tv